is Art Merg. I am making fly fishing accessories made of leather. And uh, in this episode, I would like to make a presentation of uh, tube fly wallets that I make. So let's begin. Here again, I have two uh, different size fly wallets 12 by 20 and 11 by 17. So basically, it's the same size as uh, hook fly wallets. These ones, comparing with hook fly wallets, we don't have a side plates, and the reason is that that you need a little bit less space for tubes. Uh, nevertheless, these fly wallets uh, keep the main mean feature of the fly wallets I make, uh, which is the sides are hardened. You can hear that they are tough and they flexible in the middle so we, this allows to maintain the sh shape inside and protect fly wallets from squeezing in the pocket so they are a bit thinner but as you can see they are not getting totally flat so uh, before uh, going inside I would like again to speak about the pro producing process. So here I have a piece of leather uh, just to show you how does it look when I start working with it. This is the high quality tail and leather. The type of it is vegetable tan leather which is most preferable for artistic application. And uh, here I have an example of uh, all the stages on one piece which I need to go through until the final outlook. So I uh, uh, cut the leather with special knife. Then I tool it out. I apply some paint and dye. And uh, in the end I seal the leather with special mixture. To prevent leather from soaking water inside so it's not getting saggy when let's say if you're fishing while raining or if you drop it accidentally in the water and then in the end i apply several uh, uh, coats of varnish until it gets this nice glossy effect so two sizes Let's start with a smaller one. The smaller one uh, hold uh, 28 pins inside. The pin is 4 centimeters long and it, it's made of copper, so we are not rusting. When I started, uh, I used pins made of iron, but then uh, I just knew I got some. Uh, feedback from customers that they need to improve of it so now I use Cooper ones I, so we are even more adjusted for outdoor conditions it has the thin layer of leather for leaning so it has this nice glossy black color also black color uh, very nicely uh, reflect the, the all the colors of flies so you can see all the patterns you have in the wallet and also the stitching all stitches are made by hand so no machinery is basically used making these accessories uh, in the previous episode with the hook fly wallets I said that I prefer the larger ones and here I use a smaller one just because of one reason that I don't need m many more uh, flies of this type which are muddlers uh, or any other here uh, deer here here call uh, head shape flies so I use these ones for sea trouts in spring and late winter 
or or for large trouts also in late winter or spring so 28 as you can see i have here 21 fly i have still seven <clears throat> pins to be filled up so i just don't need a larger one and let's say in the next episode i will speak about all the collection of fly wallets i'm using myself and what is the strategy of using them so one of the strategies is just to use by some certain um, pattern of the flies you're using the most so this is it and the larger one uh, let's open it so inside as you can see here it also has pins here we have 35 pins so a bit more and a patch of sheepskin to hold the hooks and this fly wallet is also dedicated for winter and spring sea trout and salmon fishing so let's say i have here more models more different patterns so i need a bigger one so i just have chosen the bigger one so this is pretty much uh, all about the uh, tube fly wallets you need to know the most of course i have different designs of these that you can find in my social media and my website let's say it can be from most fancy painted salmon until very simple just brown leather flying gold or no color just to be for uh, just dedicated only for a practical use so how to say very simple model very effective effective one all details are uh, thinked through and uh, that's it thank you for watching this episode